Hey, what's up? It's Anthony here at Lander, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your MIDI pianos sounding like a Steinway Grand Piano in Carnegie Hall. Bit of a big promise. No, I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll also be downloading the best free piano VSTs along the way. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure you watch this whole video because those last few tips are gonna add so much expression to your piano sound. So I'm starting with a chord progression that I drew in with just the pencil tool and I'm gonna be working with it throughout the video. If you wanna download it and follow along, just click here. Let's take a listen. You'll see I have very simple triads on the top and then I've doubled the bass note. It just sounds more full that way. So the first tip to make your piano sounds more realistic is to humanize or randomize your velocities. This works especially well when you've just drawn notes in or you've imported MIDI files. The free VST I'm starting out with is Keyzone Classic, which is a great piano VST to start with. When you go to play the piano, it's virtually impossible to hit every key with the exact same speed or force. That's what robots do. I'm gonna to try to record myself playing the same progression that I've drawn in, and you'll see a difference in the velocities. I'm not a piano player. Here's the one that I've drawn in. You can see all the velocities are the same and it still sounds really stiff. And here's the one that I've recorded. You'll notice that all the velocities are just a little bit different and even the timing of the notes that are played is contributing to the realism of the piano. There are a couple of different ways to change up your velocities. You can go in and start adjusting each one manually and this is great if you know what you want, but it can be quite daunting because there's so many notes, right? So I can go like this and just lower this one. Grab that one, lower it, and then grab this one. A much easier way to do this is to use your DAW's built-in Humanize tool. Now this is called different things depending on the DAW. I'm in Reaper and so it's called Humanize. It's called the same thing in Logic. In Ableton it's called the Groove Pool and in FL Studio it's called Randomizer. The first thing we're gonna do before I bring up the Humanize tool is just bring these velocities down to about halfway. That's gonna give me some room to start. Then I'll press H for humanize, and you'll see I have three options, timing, velocity, and timing bias. I'm not gonna mess around with the timing bias, just the velocity and timing. I'm gonna select all notes because I'm working with all the notes in the passage, and I'm going to start experimenting with the timing knob. You can actually see the notes shifting around. Now if I put that too much, it's gonna sound pretty bad, but if I bring it back, maybe around 13%, it'll give more of that human quality to the notes. Same thing with the velocity fader here. I can bring this up and you can see the velocity is changing down there. Maybe I'll put this around 28%. That looks, it looks good. Let's hear what it sounds like. It's getting there. I think we're about halfway to Steinway, not in Carnegie Hall yet though. The next tip is a simple one. If you want a more natural sounding piano sound, use the sustain pedal. The sustain pedal is something that you would press with your foot to help sustain the notes depending on the chord duration or the passage. I'm also gonna switch up the plugin to 99 Sounds Upright Piano, one of the top contenders for the best free piano VST. So if you have a drawn in chord progression like I did, you've changed the velocities, you've humanized it a bit, and you want to edit the sustain pedal, you'll be able to find that under CC64. That's a MIDI event and that's where the sustain pedal is usually located. In some DAWs like Logic, you'll just find it under sustain pedal, but if you're looking for where to find it, CC64, and it can sometimes be called the hold pedal. I can just draw in the line, and let's just hear how that sounds. And here's before. That's how you get those nice lush chord progressions. You sustain the notes. It's important to note that the sustain pedal, when you press it, it goes on. When you lift it up, it goes off. So it really has only two options. So what I like to do is just when it's on, I keep it at 100 and when it's off, I keep it at zero. It's best practice to kind of let go of the sustain pedal before the next chord so the notes don't carry over. If you don't do this, you kind of get a bit of mud from the chord before and it carries over into the next chord and then they kind of clash. So to do that, I'm just going to draw in some dots and then I can drag this down right before the next chord so it's like your foot's coming back up and then back down on the next chord. So let's just listen to that. A 
just copy and paste that for all of the chords. Tip number three is gonna give you tons of control when you go to mix your track. But before we get into it, let's change up the plugin to Spitfire Audio's Labs. This is a great mellow sounding piano plugin. So to have more control when you go to mix your track, you want to split the tracks up into your left hand and your right hand. And the reason for that is because you can control the bass notes on one track and then control the higher notes on the other. So to do that, I'm just gonna duplicate this track into another one. I'll go into the first one, that will be my right hand. So I'm gonna delete all the bass notes. I'll have to redo the automation afterwards. And then in the other track, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna delete all of the right hand or the high notes. So now I have both tracks separated and I have more control when I go to mix it. Let's say I want the left hand to be a little bit quieter than the right hand for certain parts. I can automate the volume or if I wanna add an EQ to the bass notes, I can do that to get rid of some mud just on the bass notes and let the other notes kind of stand unaffected. For example, you can adjust the sustain pedal on just the left hand and let the right hand play the notes staccato if you wanted. Or you can add different types of processing to each hand. So I'm hearing this kind of frequency that's popping out and I want to bring it down, but I don't want this to affect the left hand of the piano. So there it is there. I can bring this down much better. All right, the last tip, tip number four, is to add space to your pianos. This is the Carnegie Hall I was talking about. We made it, we're there. We got there. New York City, New York. So there are a few different ways of adding reverb to your pianos. A lot of piano plugins come with a built-in reverb and you can see that here in labs. This is the reverb. It can get pretty dreamy. It sounds nice, but you have less control with this type of reverb because it's affecting everything and we can't really blend it in as much. You'll have much more control if you create a track as a bus and add a reverb and an EQ to it. So I have my reverb bus here and I've added Tal reverb to it. And now I'm just going to send both hands to the reverb. So go here, sends, reverb. Go here and then sends. So now both my hands that I've created are going to the reverb. Let's just solo the reverb. I can get even more control by adding an EQ before the reverb and I can just take out those bass frequencies that might muddy up the reverb and as well as the high frequencies that might bounce around a bit too fast. And then I can blend it in to taste. There's without the reverb. And then with the reverb. I hope these tips helped you bring more realism to your piano sound. There are lots of great piano VSTs out there. I've linked the best free ones in the description, the ones I've used in this video. And there are also lots of great paid libraries out there. There's Alicia's Keys and The Giant by Native Instruments. There's lots of great stuff by 8DO. Go check them out. You only need one to sound great all the time. Let me know which piano plugins you're using in the comments below. Are they free? Are they paid? Let me know. I'd love to find out. See ya. Mama, I'm going to Carnegie Hall today. Daddy Key. Hey, what's up? It's Anthony here at Lander. Carnegie Ha! That's so dumb. That was not bad though. The intro was good. Yeah.